So uh, next up, uh, Senator Blackburn. Uh, thank you, Madam Chairman, and thank you all for the hearing today. Uh, and I had the opportunity to visit with Mr. Mijakoski yesterday and had a great competition. I represent Tennessee, and around in our state, I think we have the most amazing creative community. And when you look at Nashville and all the songwriters, the TV, the movie production, we have a lot of people that are constantly innovated, innovating. And their intellectual property is their stock and trade. And so one of the things we hear a good bit about is access to capital for startups. And, um, you know, this is something that many times what I hear, and a lot of this is people that are innovating in health IT or in uh, predictive diagnosis systems or in the financial service sector. But then people will say, you know, well, they don't want to invest because they're afraid that you're going to have a Google or an Apple or somebody come in and cut the legs out from under you and you're not going to be able to actually reap that benefit. So, uh, Ms. Hine, I want to come to you for about 30 seconds on this, and then Mr. Mijakovsky, you. Talk about the problem with access to capital when you have these innovators that are facing these people that are scooping up rather than allowing companies to grow. Go ahead. Um, Yes, thank you, Senator. Um, it is a problem that access to capital is limited, um, especially for female entrepreneurs. I think you you know that, and those in uh, regions that don't are not the super centers of venture capital. Um, what uh, big companies do do is that they um, uh, not only buy companies, but they also. Um, <clears throat> They also just copy the features that uh, we bring out and that does uh, stifle competition. Um, I don't think therefore that just limiting acquisitions will be the answer to this. I agree okay. with my uh, other panelists that um, open API access, for example, is very important. Interoperability are uh, part of the solutions uh, okay. that uh, you could enact. Thanks. Go ahead. Thanks for the question, Senator. Um, I think to echo one of the points that Alex was making earlier today, um, as an investor, we decided uh, to invest in many early stage companies, usually at the stage where it's just one or two people and an idea. But there were certain areas that uh, we had to think twice before we invested in, mostly because of um, large entrenched players. And I think one that um, May, uh, may come to mind is the music industry and the entertainment industry. Okay. Um, when we looked at startups that attempted to innovate in these, in these spaces, we always considered how difficult it was to get access to the IP uh, and break into some of these very um, controlled markets. I think that's one of the reasons why it's um, more rare to see startups that attempt to reinvent ways of di distributing music or content, um, mostly because of this. You know, sometimes when I look at this issue on innovation, it reminds me of what we went through about 10, 10 years ago with the patent trolls that were looking at some of the concepts and the apps that were coming online, and it seems to kind of mirror that. Um, let me have you continue, if I can, on choke points where the startups uh, have a tough time breaking into a market. What would you classify as being these choke points? Well, uh, one, of the one of the choke points that I think we've talked about um, before is the App Store. Uh, that is the primary choke point. That is um, every, uh, all roads to iPhone flow through the App Store. Um, on top of that, I think uh, the financial sector currently has um, many controls that limit how new startups can begin to interoperate. Um, it's getting better. I think there are some startups like Plaid that have innovated in the space and make it much easier for new companies to kind of connect in. Another example is Stripe. Um, but other than that, it is still much harder to build a financial tech company. Thank you. You will notice, Madam Chairman, that he gave the correct answer in talking about the App Store. Mm -hmm. And that is why we need the Open App Markets Act. Very good. Thank you very much. Nice summary. All right. Uh, next up, Senator Cruz. 
Thank you, Madam Chair. Welcome to each of the witnesses. Thank you.